led. We've checked into our hotel. We have this gorgeous view of the lake and of the church in the center. Um, so this lake is actually believed to have a healing power. So you can actually drink the water and it's supposed to be healing. Um, so that's quite interesting. And it's also um, a natural hot spring. So the east side of the lake, because of the tectonic plates, um, it never drops below 20 degrees. So that's quite cool. Um, and there's a lot of like myths and legends around the church in the centre um, but I'll tell you a bit more about that when we go over there now. Oh, is it? There's the thing, mind! <laughs> You've obviously got a stronger wind arm. How is it? Is it hard work? It, it's, hard, it's hard to get the arm. Um... Yeah, because you're going at that. You need to do more on this side. It's hard to get the same like technique and depth and stuff. Is it? I'm sure you picked it up. God, look how blue it is! So nice. It's like quite turquoise. Okay, so luckily, the, ho <laughs> the hotel, which is that white building there, is our hotel. Oh, look at the colour of the water. I'm getting the hang of it now. Um, luckily, they give you an extra hour. That's stunning. They give you an extra hour for free. And obviously, with this one rowing, it's a pretty good job. Oh, look, I've got the hang of it now. Oh, this is some nice. atrocious paddle work. Try and do it at the same time. Look at them arms. Look at it. <laughs> You've literally got, you've got one medal here, why not there? No I haven't, yeah, but because this one goes faster. <laughs> oh, hang on, right now, getting into a bit of it now. Am I going to use a straight line? No, 100% not. The yeah, you always want one to as well, mate. I'm just going to do this leg for a bit. Had on that leg. And then you've got that guy. Completely showing oh. us off. Oh my god, see, look at me go! I'm doing it good now. I've got a good motion, haven't I? Uh, <laughs> Clearly not. We're literally heading for these trees over here. Yeah, you were doing the same. It's obviously the current or something pushing us that way. It's delayed. Right, do you want to swap back now? Depends. Do you want to get? Do you want to get anywhere? Oh, shut up, you! And I'm just absolutely living life now, being rowed out. Quite enjoying this. Oh, there's a natural. Enjoying the sun. I can't believe how like turquoise the water is. And there's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous <laughs> mountains over there. Oh look at that up there, that's so gorgeous. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, you're getting the hang of that now, aren't you? Do you know what that man was doing when he was like really leaning back? Way, look at you go. You gotta do the pipe. <laughs> I'm all over the shop. <laughs> need, need to do my own technique, not this. Yeah. Okay. Live I'm gonna try something new. What? Okay, that's different. I wonder why the pressures don't do it this way. It's, it's too fast, it's an unfair advantage. Don't, don't worry about it, that boat's got a motor. You can't see it, it looks like the guy's ruining it, but he's actually not. <laughs> he's a fraud. She's real rowing, mate. I heard that boat that it's like maximum speed, which I think is like I don't know what it is in that. It's the equivalent of like 100 miles an hour, and we're just doing about. Eight. <laughs> oh, there's someone swimming. Is it? Yeah. So this is the church. Is it real. Don't do it anymore. So there's actually a lot of myths and legends around this church and the bell that's here now is actually the second one because the first one is um, said to be sent here from a widow in like remembrance of her husband and then there was a big storm and that one sunk to the bottom of the lake. So then the bell that's here now is said to be sent here by the Pope himself. And it's actually um, believed that if you ring the bell three times and make a wish, then apparently all your wishes should come true. Let's hope so.
Yeah. Believe it or not, that was like her 100th take on that little section. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what's up with today. I can get that right. So this one wants to show off. Oh, he wants me to video him parking it in between these two things. You've got it! Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, you're always gonna hit that one. Uh oh, oh no. Titanic. Absolute Titanic. Oh, oh, you messed up the big time. Right, you need to get it in there now. Can I stop videoing or are you. No, I've got it. Okay. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> it went any better. Cut off. <laughs> how bright the water is here like I promise I will not put any filter over the top of this footage like it's literally bright teal turquoise color we're just doing like a walk around the lake to a viewpoint that is crazy it looks like a really nice sugary drink <laughs> in the hike the drop is pretty intense down there oh. <laughs> my dad would hate this how good is that? wow definitely worth it, wasn't it? It's unbelievable. So we've just got to the top of Lake Bled and that hike was quite intense at the end, like it was quite steep if you don't like hikes you might find the last bit a little bit tricky um, but it took us a lot longer than it was supposed to because it's just so beautiful and really scenic so we just kept stopping like every two minutes to take more photos so definitely like leave more time than it says but it's just absolutely stunning like you can definitely see why this is like the most iconic place in slovenia i think this is definitely one of the like must do things if you come to slovenia like this is absolutely breathtaking that was a really good viewing point to see the lake bled um, like it wasn't too much of a walk um, there is another one that's like 20 minutes further but I think that one was just um, really nice and not too far but the last bit was a bit like everyone who got there was like out of breath when you get to the top it was quite yeah steep the last little bit but to be fair I think if you're not good on your feet it's probably not the best hike for you obviously if you can get like the sticks or something all in all it's not too bad but the other no. one, we drop, Hannah will drop the, the names in because mm -hmm. I'd literally have no idea how to pronounce them. But so that one was the closer one, and then the one that's a bit further, <laughs> um, it's a bit, it's meant to be a bit higher. I, can't, so. I think that one was just beautiful though. Like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. Okay, maybe I need both my hands, I'm gonna have to put this away. Yeah, I don't it's almost harder going. You need to get higher, do you? No, I thought that no. was absolutely stunning. Like it looked unreal, like absolutely breathtaking. Um, looks so much better than any photo or video I've seen of it, like in person. Um, it's just amazing. Like being able to see like the mountains and things in the background. They don't pick up as much on camera, but it's just the whole thing is unreal. Um, it's almost harder to walk back downhill than uphill, isn't it? You feel like you're more likely to fall over going down, but. Okay, so I'm going to put this away because just in case I fall. <laughs> so we're about to do a 45 minute hike along this river to Vintka Gorge. Did I say that right? Vintka Gorge? Vintka Gorge. Yeah. So let's get a move on. Right, half a right.
This bit's really cool. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but there's like a tiny bit right here you can see between like the two rocks. It looks really cool. I find it so cool how it's just like this this walkway that's like fixed inside of the cliff the whole way around. Mm -hmm. So we're currently at Vintgar Gorge. I'm doing like a 45 minute walk along the river. It's, um, yeah, it's so class. Like the water's like bright blue or green. I'd say teal. <laughs> it's so clear. You see the rocks at the bottom, you see all the fish. And but, it's like surrounded by like, these like rocky cliffs. And you walk around like these bridges, it looks absolutely real. But again, um, this is like this place is pretty off the radar. It's like a 15 minute drive from Bled, like yeah. Lake Bled. So, like again, if you're in the area, definitely check this out. Yeah. But every single thing we've seen has just completely blown me away. Like, there's yeah. nothing that's like I've regretted doing or I wouldn't recommend doing so far. Pretty sure this is the best picnic spot in the world. With all of that to look at. Steve's going to test how cold the water is. Freezing. Is it? Yeah, please, yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Probably colder than any sea I've ever felt. Oh. So we followed another sign, just like took us off track a little bit. That's what it looks like we're coming But we think it's going to be worth it. So we're walking back now. You can't go back the way you came because of coronavirus, so we're having to walk um, a bit further, but this is lovely. That's so cute over there. There's like something to lay down, catch all the berries off a tree, and there's like a little girl with grandparents picking all the berries. There's a beautiful mountain there. So we're just walking through like this really cute little town. It's a one hour walk, which we wasn't really prepared for. <laughs> no, we wasn't expecting that, but um, we don't mind. Hopefully get back in time just oh, to get cold, ready for dinner. Okay, so this is where the trail is taking us now. Um, it doesn't look as dark on camera. No, it's getting a bit dark now. <laughs> so, we've got 40 minutes left of the walk. Um, I'm hoping we get back before it gets dark because I'd be a bit scared. <laughs> okay, so we finally made it back to the entrance of <laughs> this hike. Um, go on, what was you going to say? It took us about two and a half hours. <laughs> like, we... They said the first bit was like 45 minutes across the, um, the gorge, but then it was like, because of coronavirus you can't turn, like normally you turn back on yourself and come back yeah. across the gorge, but we didn't. So when we was filming, I think we got footage of it, but all them like big cliffs and stuff like that, we actually ended up like looping round and on top of the cliffs, uh, walking all the way like, like around. It was like really steep. But um, the bit that was supposed to be 45 minutes probably took us like, just over an hour. Yeah, that took but, us, I think, took that yeah, us a lot longer an hour than it should have because um, we were literally just stopping every two seconds and taking photos and videos because it was it was so good. Like, we've been so lucky today because when I Googled the, the weather for um, Lake Bled today, um, it said it was like four hours of rain and thunderstorms in like the mid part of the day as well. And somehow we were so lucky I don't know how it happened, but it ended up being no rain at all for us, so it didn't stop us from doing any of the things we wanted to do. So we're so buzzing about that. Literally every time we checked, it yeah. was like, it was meant to be raining like 11 till 4. Yeah. And then checked a bit later. we checked it a little bit later and it was like 12 till 4. Checked it again and, and then like it went down to like 2 till 4. Mm -hmm. And then when we was out on the boat and we was looking and we were thinking, oh, it's meant to be raining a bit, so we best get going. And it was like the sun was still out. So we checked it again. And then it was like no rain at yeah. all. So I don't know how that happened, oh but God, we're so thankful no that happened because we've had, I've literally had the best day. This has been so much fun. Yeah. Like so far, this whole trip in Slovenia, I think has exceeded my expectations. I've really enjoyed everything mm. we've done. I think everything we've done, you could definitely do in the rain as well. Like, yeah, it's, it's just nice. It wouldn't put it? me up, but it's definitely nicer with a bit of sun. Yeah, it's been so lovely. Um, and we were just saying as well how like, we feel like, this half of our trip has been quite like adventure filled. We thought this part of the trip would be a bit more chill than the second half would be a bit more adventure. Mm. So like, I feel like we've got a lot done in a short period of time. We've done so, the best yeah. time, haven't we? Yeah, we're gonna go and re like freshen up yeah. and we're gonna have a bit of dinner in Bled. 
Yeah, can't wait! It's so bright and clear. It's really hard to believe things like this are natural. How would you describe that? <laughs> like. <laughs> Terrifying. 